up there where there's a white trailer in the machines, that's the site of the new Badger building. It's a fabulous site because we get to restore this pit to great beauty. And we're really looking forward to making it an ecology center with um, an herbal walk and flowering trees. And we just want to make it really beautiful again. Right here would be the entrance to the Badger building. And you'd walk in, and on your left would be coffee and tea to welcome you, and the kitchen, the smells of cooking, and on the opposite side would be a little reception area, a place where you could sit and chill. So I think people, when they walk in, they'll come in, get their tea and coffee, sit down, chat a little bit, head off to work. This will be where we'll have outside eating and we'll build a clay oven so we can make pizza and bake squash and potatoes and things like that. You would think we're making a uh, summer camp, but no, this is the new Badger building. Pretty amazing. It's going to be beautiful. I sure wish I was wearing a hard hat now. <laughs> that uh, in 2004 we started with the idea of building a new building and it's uh, evolved over time. I did the original drawings and sketches for it and this is what we've got. One of the problems with buildings is moisture being locked in the walls when you have plywood on the outside. And I like boards because they absorb moisture and then release it to the outside on days when there's a drying potential. And it gives you a building that'll last for three to 500 years versus not so long. Okay, now this stuff right here is cellulose insulation that's dense packed. And cellulose really is ground up newspaper, so it's a recy highly recycled product and it gives you great insulation value. I consider this the best insulation system from an environmental and energy efficient point of view. Also, uh, you remember it's a commercial building, so we had to be conservative in the materials we use and so on. Sheetrock is a inexpensive system, but taping sheetrock uses a lot of vinyl. Taping compound generally is loaded with vinyl. So we found a product called Merco from Texas that's a non-vinyl, non-off-gassing sheetrock taping medium. So that's what we're using. So no off-gassing in our building. Also, we're going to have a very simple floor. Instead of putting down plywood, we put down shiplap pine and we'll sand it up. I hear noises. We'll sand it up and we're actually going to finish it with a product called Polyway. You've heard of polyurethane. Well, polyurethane uses a chemical urethane or urea, urea formaldehyde to bind it. We're using whey left over from the dairy industry in Vermont. So we're using polyway to finish this building. Normally a building of this size would be held up with uh, steel. This is a wood frame building with uh, a wood, a skeleton, a framework of uh, a nice wood to hold it up. Looks great, feels great, love it. This will be uh, the upstairs of our warehouse, expansion space for offices, maybe a ping pong table, maybe a photography studio for doing our product shot. And maybe there could be a room up here that's called the What's Next Room, where we think about what's new and different and next for Badger. One never knows.
down there, there are two bathrooms and the lab for the laboratory. And then we have the accounting. And then in these rooms will be operations, marketing, sales, product development. I think it's pretty awesome so far. It's, how it, it's got a lot of work to do still, but. Here in front of the Badger building and I'm really grateful to be here. It's been a fabulous process and we're ready for the next seven years. Who knows what will be next?